Good morning everybody, it's Lorraine from PregnancyExercise.co.nz and this week we are starting our new series in pregnancy and postnatal. Um, first of all, we are starting with pregnancy and a step-by-step -step guide of how you can prepare your pelvic floor muscles for birth and labor and beyond. So today's section, we are gonna look at the exercises to help you to start relax and release the pelvic floor muscles as you get ready for birth. So these exercises are suitable. You can start doing them from the 30 week mark, but from 35 weeks, they're exercises that you need to be doing and addressing often, okay? So really frequently. So please let me know in the comments how many weeks pregnant you are, um, first, second or third babies, any tips that you will want throughout the series. So remember today we are focusing on pelvic floor exercise. Now, if you've got a ball, okay, and especially if it's your first time, these are great tools to get hold of, okay? Because not only do they help you work your pelvic floor muscles really, really well, pregnancy and postpartum, great for using during labor and birth, great for exercising, but really, really good for winding babies on postpartum and settling babies as well. You can spend ages settling babies on the balls, different size to give yourself a break. So a really good exercise tool to get hold of that you're gonna use for a long, long time. And then also after that, they're actually really good to help babies learn to walk, okay? So it replaces those walking toys. All right, so let's start off. I'm gonna show you a series of exercises to help release the tension, which can often be, co be caused for numerous ways, you know, Females, for those of us who stand for long times, stress for long periods, we can hold a lot of tension through our hips. We can also take tension, tension in our jaw, up through our shoulders, through our neck, leads to also increased tension of the pelvic floor muscles. Now, in able to push a baby out, we need those pelvic floor muscles to be able to move, okay? So think of your pelvic floor muscles a bowl of muscles that need to stretch and relax when the contractions come in order to push baby out. We don't want muscles that are too tight and can't move, okay? So sometimes pelvic pain, pain during sex, these can be key indicators that you might have hypertonic pelvic floor muscles. And also as well, you know, we're told throughout the years to do Kegels, 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 you know, to do constant Contract, contract, contract. We wouldn't go like this 200 times a day. And yet basically, that's what some women can be doing with their pelvic floor muscles when we need at this stage to be focusing on the relaxed down. Okay, so series of exercise moms, pregnant, all right? Or if you've got hypertonic pelvic floor muscles, this is really, really good to do. Okay, so using your ball, sitting on, and then you're just gonna move your muscles out the way so you can really feel that center of the ball. Okay, now, using the ball gives you great feedback as to feel that lift of your pelvic floor muscles on the exhale. So we can feel that, but what you wanna concentrate on preparing for birth is the release. And I want you to feel your pelvic floor muscles dropping down and spreading out. Almost think of them like jelly and a jellyfish going like that, splattering down on the ball to help release that tension. And that's through your inhale. Exhale, you can think about your transverse if you want, 30 to 35 weeks. Otherwise, at the moment, we're just thinking on pure relaxation tips for your pelvic floor. So you can lean forward a little bit as well. Okay, and now what we can start to do, and this is great for preparing for birth, this is from 36 to 37 weeks, we can start to add a little bit of pressure, can you see that? Down onto the ball, even come down here, and start to really think about relaxing and stretching those pelvic floor muscles out. So this is a good place, this is really good. I would say start off with five to 10, releases okay so now we're coming through a different breathing okay and now i'm actually exhaling as if i was going to push baby out and releasing the pelvic floors there okay 
So start with those. Then I want you to come on. So you can do this if you've not got a ball, it doesn't matter, you can use your sofa. Okay, now you're gonna do your stretch back pelvic floor releases. So we're thinking exhale, pressure down, and completely relax through your hips, through your pelvic floor, through your glutes. So you'll relax down here for about five to 10 seconds, come back up, roll if you want to, roll it out, and then again, release, stretch down. Okay, good release of second exercise. All right, exercise number three, glute stretches. We know that your glutes are your pelvic floor muscles best friends, but again, glute muscles that are really, really tight are gonna keep that tension into your pelvic floor muscles. So we need to release the glutes. Now, if you've got back um, SIJ pain, pubic pain, don't be stretching out through here. But if you're feeling okay during your pregnancy, no, no pains, 90-90 stretch, bump will be here and lean over and stretch through those glutes. All right, so this is your exercise stretch number three, and you can flick over again through there and onto the other side. Another little exercise, what I just want to show you on the ball, which you can do on a ball, you can also do using a suspension trainer, and you can also do holding the back of your sofa is adductor these, okay? So side to side, lengthening, relaxing, opening up through your hips. You can put the ball back onto a, a couch there so you're not gonna fall back and rock from side to side, exercise four. Now, what I want you to also do through today, the day is be very, very mindful of tension and stress, okay? Tension and stress, late pregnancy, picking up toddlers, other babies, stressing to finish off with your work, all that tension is pulling up here, pull it up. Work on your stress release. For those of you who have got fifth one, a roller, we can start to really release the tension through our hips, rolling on here. So pregnant, you would be in this position, support leg over the top or down there, and you're just gonna gently roll through on that TFL. Not long, just gentle rolls. We don't want to do too much trigger point work at this stage during your pregnancy, but just gentle massage around through this area of your hip, okay? Just to help release that tension off. So there are your exercises to start to help release and relax your pelvic floor muscles to help you to prepare for birth. So you've got the ball release, from 36 weeks, you can start to add those pressure releases um, to really prepare for pushing baby. Then you've got your stretches on the floor with your lower back stretch, um, your glute stretch, roller, release tension and de-stress. Okay, so over the next few days, I'm gonna th go through how to push. Tips on how to push, what I teach um, throughout my antenatal classes um, with the parent center, well, how, how to use your partner to help you push as well, how to use towels, how to use the bed, how to stand up, etc. So we're gonna go through all that in this series over the next week or so. And anything else you want to discuss, place it in the comments and I will get back to you. Okay, everybody, remember um, we, to visit our website, pregnancyexercise.co.nz for all the information you need on pregnancy, exercise and wellness, pre and postpartum, and to join our programs as well, they're all there online. If you're lucky enough at the moment, you can use the coupon code LOCKDOWN for a 30% discount on all the programs. Go for it. Okay, everybody, take care. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.